we are not touching. That's 7G limit right there. That is a tremendous amount of weight. <laughs> Okay, so we're doing our 9G test right now. Um, the jack is off, it's not touching anything. We're gonna start at the tip, work our way inboard. Um, one row at a time inboard. We're gonna go five high on the front, and then that's done. We've already set out the back. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. I know it looks a little bit wonky from the layout, but this is correct um, mathematically. So let's go ahead and start. Ten point five G's, still no failure. The jack is off. Um, that means we're good to the seven G limit that we talked about. We're actually going to bring that down to six G's, but at a higher gross weight than we had anticipated. So um, again, it'll still be a six G limit, but now we have the data we need to make those decisions. Andrea's well, toss it on the tip, toss it, toss it from the back side so it doesn't get you if it comes up. <laughs> wow, that's insane. <laughs> Look at the skin on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Is it all <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> that is not a happy camper, people. Oh, and roughly three and a half to four inches of deflection. Total, total move. Yeah. Wow. And it's just sitting there. It's just sitting there. Why don't you hop on top? <laughs> They're jumping. What are we going to do? to break it. I guess we're not going to break it. If you want me to, I'll jump on it. No. <laughs> we need to quantify it. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to get the jack back up on this before it breaks. Um, unload it. And then, apply more concrete. Then, yeah, measure deflections again just to see yeah. how much it deformed. I'm sure it's deformed by now. It's I would hope. hope we can get some data out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Holy smokes. We're going to take a break first, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've done our test. We've unloaded the bags. We've taken new measurements. What we've gathered is that we're about 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch off at the wingtip. Um, that's a permanent deforma deformation. Um, a very, very small one at that, so I could not be any happier with that result. Um, however, we're seeing uh, other damage elsewhere. A little bit of buckling in the ribs. So it's pointless to go any further, as we said uh, before. Um, but this has far and away exceeded our expectations and it gives us good data moving forward when we write the operating limitations for the airplane. So, good job everybody. Thank you. Good stuff. What do you say, should we drill out some rivets and look inside and see if we got ribs that went weird? Yeah, see if we got ribs that went weird. Just looked at the underside since we unloaded it. Oh man. How many is that? Okay. Is it all buckled? It really good. No. No, it's like there's nothing. Oh my gosh. I don't see any wrinkles. The only thing I'm seeing is a bit, right of, there, yeah. is a, is a bit of a oil can situation right there. 